Hello and welcome to my ultimate barrows guide. In this video I'll be talking about everything you need to know about doing barrows. First let's talk about the requirements. You're going to want to have at least level 70 in your combat stats, at least level 50 magic, and at least level 43 prayer. Now these levels are minimum. I do not recommend you using these levels if it's your first time at barrows. What I recommend is getting at least level 75 magic to get the trident of the seas, and level 70 prayer to use less supplies each trip. And of course the higher your levels, the faster your trips are going to be. Now let's get into combat. There's three different ways you could fight the Barrows Brothers effectively. You could use magic and melee, magic and range, or all three combat styles to defeat the Barrows Brothers. Using all three combat styles, it's not much more effective than the other gear setups, while also forcing you to bring more gear switches. With the range and mage setup, use your regular range gear and a couple of mage switches. Even though this method is good, it's still more expensive than the mage and melee, especially if you use a toxic blowpipe. So in this guy, we're going to focus on using a mage and melee setup. No matter what setup you do, you're always going to use either a Slayer Dart, a Ivan's Blast, or a Trident. These magic attacks are great because they have a high maximum hit, and since the Barrows Brothers have very low magic defense, the max hit is what makes the most difference in your DPS against them. And since the Brothers have low magic defense, that means you don't need a full magic setup to do a lot of magic damage to them. Really the most important parts of your magic setup are your magic attack and the occult necklace to raise your maximum magic hit. Other than that, I just like using a robe top and bottom and a magic offhand for my switch. As for your melee armor, I just recommend using your best offensive armor that you have, such as a fighter torso or a defender. A Helm of Natiznaat is especially good because of its offensive melee stats, but also having no magic attack penalties. Other than that, just use your best gear that you have. You can bring as many magic gear switches as you want, but I usually like to stick to 4 switches. Now a great alternative to using your best melee and magic gear is using void magic and melee sets. This setup is very good considering that it gives you both magic and attack offensive abilities. And as the time of this video, a magic void set buff is being pulled. That means that the magic void set will be even better than it was in this video. And if the poll passes, I'm willing to bet the magic void and the melee void setup will be the best budget setup for barrows. You may have seen people doing barrows in full graceful with a whip, but that is an absolutely horrible idea. The reason it's so bad is because with direct teleports to barrows, you never run out of run energy. So using Graceful is just wasting your armor slots on armor that you could've used for offensive purposes. Now let's talk about the traveling methods to Barrows. With the Arceus Spellbook, there's a level 83 magic spell that teleports you directly to Barrows. Or if you don't have level 83 magic, you could just use the teleport tablets to the Barrows. Or if you're an Iron Man and you don't have level 83 magic, you could use the Mortania Legs 3 from the Mortania Hard Diaries to teleport to Barrows. The Mortania Legs 3 don't teleport you directly to Barrows, it's a bit of a walk, so if you don't have level 83 magic and you're an Iron Man, then I recommend you get that first before you do Barrows. And if you don't have any of those teleport options, then it's definitely not worth your time to do Barrows. So get one of those teleport options first, and then do Barrows. And you're gonna want to ring a dueling to teleport to Clan Wars after you loot the chest. Because leaving Barrows by foot after you loot the chest is very annoying, and also at Clan Wars you can refresh all your stats and run energy. So let's look at our inventory setup. We have our gear switches, our combat potions if you want them, they're not required, prayer potions, I like to bring 5, some food, I like to bring monkfish, again 5 of them, your Clan Wars teleport, a spade, and your Barrows teleport. I also like to bring a stamina potion just in case I run out of run energy, even though it doesn't happen often. Now let's look at the actual Barrows minigame. There are six hills, each hill having one of the Barrows brother, and they're all in the same spot each time. So if you look at the outside four corners, all of those brothers are melee and are weak to magic. And the two in the middle are the mage and range brothers, which are weak to melee and range. So my route usually is going to the four corners with my mage setup to defeat the melee brothers, 
and then switching to my melee setup to go to the middle two hills to defeat the mage and the range brother. So when I start, I go to the first hill with my magic setup to get the hill, turn on my protect from melee, and then start the fight. It's a very easy fight, but every time a ghost head pops up, it drains your prayer. So keep an eye out on that and don't lose track of your prayer level. Varak, the guy in the northwest corner, he could hit through prayer, so make sure to eat food when you need to so you don't die accidentally. After the four corners are cleared, switch to your melee setup and head to the middle hill to fight Aram. If you have combat potions, now is a good time to drink them. Aram has a special attack where he drains your combat stats, which is a good reason to bring your combat potions. Then after the fight, just head south to Carol and fight him with melee. Randomly, one of the brothers will be missing from his tomb, and that will mean that they're down in the tunnels, and that their tomb is the entrance to the tunnels. So when you're fighting the brothers, remember which one is missing, and then go back to that tunnel after you defeated all the rest of the brothers. Down the tunnel, you'll find a bunch of creatures, and you'll also find the last brother. The tunnel is nine squares, with tunnels connecting to the outside corners of the squares. When you first get down the tunnel, look for the center room and right click on the doors you can see to the center room. If they don't have an open option, then those aren't the right doors. There's only one way into the center room, and it's randomized each time. So find your way around the rooms until you can find the door that goes to the center. And when you try to open the door, there's a puzzle that'll pop up. There's four puzzles, and the answer is going to be the same each time, so just memorize the answer. The last brother will only appear randomly when you open one of the doors, or when you open the chest. You will want to kill the last brother before searching the chest to get the best chance of finding a Barrow's item when searching. You'll also know there's a percent at the bottom right corner of the screen. That's how much loot you're going to get. To increase that, you have to kill random creatures in the tunnel. The best creatures to kill are skeletons because they give a lot of points. Killing random creatures increases the chance of gaining random runes, but does not increase the chance of gaining a Barrow's item. So if you're an Iron Man you're doing a speedrun to get all the Barrow's items, then you're going to want to just kill the Barrow's brothers and then go right to the chest. But the runes are very good, so if you want runes, then it's definitely worth it to kill the creatures to get 100% loot. Once you have the completion that you want, search the chest, and then teleport out to Clan Wars to refresh your stats and teleport back to Barrow's. Once in a while, when the last Barrow's brother is melee, and you go into one of the corners of the tunnels, and he appears in that tunnel, then you can safe spot him behind an invisible ladder in the center of the room. This is because your entrance is randomized, and your entrance doesn't appear in all the corners, so the ladder is still there, even though it's invisible. Also, this trick only works on the melee ones, because the range of mage can just attack you through the ladder. Thank you for watching my guide on Barrows, and subscribe if you want to watch more guides like this one.